you all a secret. I'm scared. I'm scared to be living in a world where a forest the size of 20 football fields is cut down every minute. I'm scared to be living in a world where rising greenhouse gas emissions are causing a change in our climate that we are completely and utterly unprepared to face. And I'm scared to be living in a world where so many of the people in the highest positions of power globally simply don't care enough to change. There is unprecedented pressure on our planet to provide for its growing population, which is predicted to hit 9 billion by 2050. The challenges that we're facing as a result of this are so large and so staggering in their nature that business simply cannot go on as usual. The status quo is no longer an option. We need to adapt, to change, to innovate. I'm 17 years old. For so many people my age, environmental activism is ingrained in their DNA. But that's largely because we have no other choice. The burden is on us to change the way that we treat the environment for not only ourselves, but also the future generations. So the question then becomes, what do we do? And how do we do it? Well, here's my suggestion. We harness the power of what we've already been given in nature in order to save it. Specifically, we use hemp. Hemp is a plant, or any part of a plant, including the seed from the cannabis genus that has been specifically bred to have minimal tetrahydrocannabinol levels, or THC levels, in the leaves and flowering heads, meaning that it cannot produce a psychoactive effect. Essentially, no, you can't get high off of hemp. Now, before I continue, I want to do a bit of myth-busting. Whenever someone mentions the word hemp, our minds will more often than not wander to its psychoactive counterpart, marijuana. And before I knew more about hemp, I thought the exact same thing. But it's this harmful association that prevents hemp from being capitalised on for its abundance of commercial and environmental purposes. You see, the important thing to recognise here is that while hemp and marijuana come from the same family, they're two completely different crops. It's like people. Take yourselves, for example. You each have a family and you come from two parents. And if you have siblings, then your brother or sister comes from the same parents too. But you're both completely different people, with different purposes, skills, abilities. That exact same logic applies to the relationship between hemp and marijuana. Same parent, different purpose. Now, once I learned a bit more about this distinction between the two, I started researching more and more into hemp, and I was astounded with what I found. Not only could hemp be incredibly beneficial for a number of industries, in fact, it has over 25,000 commercial uses, but there was research and statistics and studies to show that hemp could have a hugely beneficial impact on our environment. But what is it exactly that makes hemp such a unique vector for climate action? Well, one of the industrial uses of hemp is as an alternative material for paper. Fun fact, some incredibly important historic texts, like the Gutenberg Bible and the American Declaration of Independence, were written on hemp paper. Now, to give you all some context, when hemp is grown for fibre, it grows incredibly fast, in around three to four months, meaning that it produces a huge biomass. Now, because it matures so fast, this means that we need less land, less water and less time to get the exact same amount of pulp that we get from traditional forestry. In fact, for traditional paper, you'd need four acres of land and 20 to 30 years to get pulp, whereas hemp, with, with hemp, you'd need one acre of land and three months to get that exact same amount of pulp. And what's more is that hemp can be pulped for paper with far fewer chemicals than wood due to its low lignin content, reducing the need for bleaching, which contaminates the environment, especially waterways. Now, to put this all into perspective for you, in 2016, statistics show that paper and cardboard consumption totaled at 413 million metric tonnes that year. And what's more, is that for each tonne of wood pulp paper produced, 950 kilograms of carbon dioxide are released into the atmosphere. Now brace yourselves, because this is quite confronting, because theoretically, if we do the maths, then that means that there's about 39.4 billion kilograms of carbon dioxide being pumped into our atmosphere each year as a direct result of the paper and cardboard industry alone. 
39.4 billion. These increased carbon dioxide emissions exacerbate climate change. Now, climate change is a term that's thrown around a lot lately, especially by the media. But what does it actually mean for us? Climate change looks like an increase in extreme weather events like hurricanes, floods and droughts that will wreak havoc on communities across the globe. It looks like the air that you and I breathe becoming dirtier because rising temperatures increase air pollution through creating ground-level ozone. It looks like vertebrate species like mammals and birds going extinct at a rate 114 times faster than they naturally should be. It looks like our oceans becoming more acidic because they're absorbing our excess emissions. It looks like highly populated cities like New York, LA, Sydney, Rio de Janeiro, Mumbai, all at risk due to rising sea levels. Now, let's take a step back. Let's consider that perhaps, instead of using wood pulp for paper, we tried hemp. Not only would we get rid of all those carbon dioxide emissions, but given that hemp is a natural carbon sequester, we'd actually be absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and significant amounts of it. In fact, for each tonne of hemp harvested, 1.62 tonnes of atmospheric carbon dioxide are absorbed, stored in its fibre. Hemp could transform this industry from one of the most harmful global industries into a carbon neutral, or even carbon negative industry. Incredible. And the really unique part about all of this is, is that that's just one example of an industry that hemp could revolutionise. Hemp could be used in construction, for concrete, insulation, paint, to create carbon negative buildings. It could be used in the fashion industry to, in, to eradicate all the water wastage that we see from modern cotton production. It could be used to improve the health food industry because hemp is considered an up-and-coming superfood and, and in fact, is one of only two plant sources of both omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Now, with all of this in mind, it's absurd to think that so many people still believe that the notion of using hemp commercially is new, untested, unsafe. They couldn't be more wrong. It's becoming abundantly clear that we need to rethink our mindset towards hemp. Hoping and praying for a clean, greener and safer future simply isn't enough. We need to actively work towards creating and implementing sustainable practices into our leading industries. Hemp could trigger an environmental revolution. We just need to nurture it and allow it to fulfil its purpose. We're at a precarious tipping point with the environment where our actions and decisions today directly affect tomorrow. And we need to make a decision about what we want our future to look like. So let's do it. Let's decide. Is this the life we want to live? Is this the way we should be treating our planet? Is this the best we can be? Can we be better, smarter, more sustainable? Let's decide. The clock is ticking. Thank you.